So I use the FPC for my drum tracks. In this example, I have a kick, snare, you know, a little hi-hat, and the crash loaded. I also put some chops that I have in this project here as well, just to show as an example. So right now, if I was to try to use the FPC with the Korg, and this is a default example, it's going to be all over the place. Um, as you see here, the kick snare is working, but now trigger the sample, and I'm going in order, and nothing on that last pad. Everything's all over the place, pretty much. So if you want to get it to map correctly, you'd have to go into the options area, go map notes for entire bank. Once you do that, just hit all the pads from the bottom left to the top right in order, and that will allow you to properly map everything to the chord. Once you're done, and you try it again, everything now is mapped perfectly. I have everything I want, but the only issue is now I have a problem where with the samples I have on the second to last top row there, if I hit them a lot, they're not cutting off each other. See, it's all messed up. So what you'd have to do after that is, on that pad, you want to set a cut by value. So you could choose whatever group you have that's available. So for example, I'm doing cut two by two on each one. So they're all the same, they'll cut each other off. With that, now once you're done, you're gonna be able to hit the pads, cut off each pad, and nothing's gonna be overlapping. As you see how I have that there. So that's pretty much how you would set up the FPC. And once you have the cork mapped, you can save your layout. You go under Options, Save Note Layout, and that will, you know, put it into a file, have it on your computer, so if anything ever happens, at least you can bring that back up. All right, so next I'll go into discussing how I configured the Fruity Slicer with the cork and how I have my samples loaded into that and do my chopping.